All right, there's my notes. And my happy audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to turn it over to Brenda, who's going to record me. Oh, so I just have to hold it? Do I have to mm -hmm. shut anything off? No. Okay. Hold it. Okay. There you go. Well, good morning, everybody. Certify, I just want to thank you for coming and tell you a little bit about certified nursing assistants. Certified nursing assistants are very key people in healthcare today. They take care of many of our loved ones. However, the national turnover rate for certified nursing assistants is 42%, according to the American Healthcare Association from October 2011. 42% is a high turnover rate and should be concerning to all of us. I worked in healthcare roughly 20 years. Of that, I worked roughly four years as a CNA, a certified nursing assistant, and I worked two years as an LPN, and the remainder has been an RN. How many times have you or a loved one been cared for by a certified nursing assistant or cared for in a hospital or know someone who's cared for in a nursing home? I would venture to guess all of you here have been touched by caregivers in your lives. Just an overview of what we're going to talk about today is what a certified nursing assistant is. Um, I realize some of you might not know exactly what that is. And um, along with that, certified nursing ass assistants, as evidenced by the high turnover rate, do experience job dissatisfaction. So we'll want to focus on some reasons why that is and maybe some solutions for that. So, first of all, what a certified nursing assistant is. They are people who are required to take a class, uh, which includes classroom, lab time, and clinical time. They're actually certified by the state in which they live and which they take the class. They care for many of our patients in facilities or in home health care where they are ill or they're recovering from an illness um, or they have a real chronic disease and they need help every day with, with their daily, daily living needs. They're employed in several different areas and probably we don't even realize all the areas but a few are skilled nursing facilities, hospitals, home health, um, and group homes, lots of different areas where people need, vulnerable people need, need our care. Now that you understand what a CNA does, let's move on to the area that, that the areas that may cause job dissatisfaction for a certified nursing assistant. It is stated by, um, in McKnight's magazine, um, December 2008, several reasons why people experience job dissatisfaction in the role of a certified nursing assistant. One reason is they may feel unappreciated by their supervisors. They feel like they're not getting the thank yous that they wish to get. They also feel like there's unrealistic uh, expectations put on them by management, such as um, management being okay being short staffed or um, feeling like there isn't enough staff to do what it is and feeling like management, doing what there is to do and feeling like management doesn't care. Creates a lot of dissatisfaction for our nursing assistants. There's few opportunities in the role of the CNA to advance. Um, yes, they can advance to be a nurse, uh, but that requires much more formal education and 
it's not in the role of no caregiver. Also, another driving factor is home life and personal responsibilities that might contribute to job dissatisfaction or needs for them to make a job transition. It might be financial, it might be childcare needs that they are uh, needing to return home and out of the workforce because of that. Now that we have explored the reasons for job dissatisfaction for CNAs, I want to move on to our last part. Ideas that might, might help improve some satisfaction within the CNA job role. So, one popular uh, idea is creating some sort of career ladder for a certified nursing assistant. Um, what that might really mean or look like is within a caregiver role or within a CNA role, people taking short workshops and classes to become specialized in things like acute caregiving, uh, dementia care, or mentoring new staff. What would be nice is that might, if we could implement um, wage increases, small wage increases with each area, and um, it would also result in uh, people feeling like they were rewarded and appreciated by management and supervisors. Um, and it also might um, increase the desire for people to be a nursing assistant if they don't feel like they're only in for an extended amount of time. CNAs, um, our caregivers, are in a very demanding role. It's demanding emotionally and physically. Lack of job satisfaction does result because of these things. Implementing a career ladder seems like a win-win situation for employee and employer. Families entrust their loved ones to CNAs, and I believe that, that we would want the CNAs to feel rewarded and to feel like they have room to grow and would result in higher quality of care if they have those things. CNAs take care of the people we love the most, and they deserve to end of that, but are there any questions about the information provided? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>